much, Mr. Speaker. Um, Mr. Speaker, it is well known that our courts, particularly family courts, are clogged with, the self, uh, with people self-representing because they can't afford a lawyer but paradoxically make too much money for legal aid. Now, this government's negligence on legal aid, in effect, makes the children of the Martha and Henrys out there fall through the cracks with repeated delays in our, in our family courts. So to the Justice Minister, why does the Minister feel it is appropriate to let almost 50% of the children and grandchildren of Martha and Henry languish through family court with no legal aid assistance for parents to hire lawyers. Honourable Justice Minister. Mr. Speaker, the uh, provincial government funds uh, approximately 80% of legal aid already, and through uh, an intercessional uh, deposit, we provide an additional $5.5 million for legal aid. And of course, Mr. Speaker, we have a budget coming next, next week. I would suggest that this member stay tuned. For a supplemental? Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Back to the same uh, minister. Given that uh, as, of, uh, as of the upcoming budget, the considerable expense of any court-appointed legal counsel comes from legal aid coffers, thereby further diminishing their funds available for regular legal aid, is the minister committed to covering court-ordered counsel past April out of the department resources? The Honourable Minister Again, Mr. Speaker, this member will have to stay tuned for the March 26 budget. Final supplemental. Thank you. Um, well, can the minister share with us his reasoning for failing, despite being required to do so, to approve Legal Aid's revised internal budget for 2014-15, which they submitted back before Christmas. How come? Honourable Minister. Again, Mr. Speaker, we have to act in the best interest of all actors, including taxpayers, Mr. Speaker. Five and a half million dollars will be provided in addition to Legal Aid this year. And I also raised this at the national, at the national meeting of Justice Ministers several months ago about the federal government's lack of funding for this important program. 